Nope, this is not an early Christmas. This is another uh, loot crate. And there's a very good reason for that. My mom was in Canada, as I've uh, mentioned in my, some of my previous videos. And, uh, well, uh, she gets most of my mail mailed to her uh, address. So then she brings it to me. Now, given the fact that she was in Canada the entire time, I had no access to any of my uh, stuff. So I... Uh, got my July loot crate, and about a day or two later, I got my uh, uh, August uh, loot crate. Now, I gotta say, this is probably the biggest crate I've ever gotten, and given the size of this thing, you guys probably can tell how big these things uh, can be. If I'm saying, if I'm telling you that this is the biggest thing I ever got, but uh, you really have to see it up close and personal to. Uh, kind of estimate uh, more or less how big these things are and another good thing this is quite possibly the heaviest I ever gotten so this could either be a good thing or a bad thing depending on whatever's inside uh, on the bright side uh, at least uh, you know a few months ago I kind of complained that uh, they weren't putting much effort into their crates anymore that they were about this big and uh, the, the um, the, the box itself wasn't really that useful. You guys all remember this box, or at least I hope you uh, you did. But but now they've gone back to actually making these boxes useful, like these, for example. So let's just open this thing because I'm dying to see what I got this month or last month, whatever. I can tell you I already love the uh, paint job on the inside of the box because I can kind of see it. I guess whatever's inside is so big that the box itself just can't contain it. So, open it up. Hey, there's an opening. As easily as it should. Sure. Gotta be careful. Uh, I already saw from a little glimpse inside that there's something big and heavy in it. Oh, wow. Wow. It's a big Rick and Morty thing, but let's start with the t shirt as we usually do. Oh, look, there's a Harley Quinn something. Oh, hold on, I'm giving myself spoilers. Office space. Oh, I haven't seen office space in a while. Oh, it's an office space. <laughs> Nothing on the back, as per usual. I think this is the first time we've gotten uh, a t shirt in this specific uh, color. And uh, just let me make sure uh, to look at every single detail before showing it to you guys. It's, um, so, the, uh, a pirate logo with the skull and the bones, uh, but it's, I believe it's a printer, yeah, it looks like a printer, a 90s printer because of uh, the office space, and, uh, the bones are two baseball bats, so there you go, it's a t-shirt. Now let's move on to the, um, Rick and Morty thing, wow. That is what made this crate so heavy. I believe this is not my first uh, Rick and Morty thing that I've gotten from uh, a uh, loot crate. Which is why they're using the same uh, branded box. It's pretty much understandable. Let's just see what is inside. Looks like a giant figure of the uh, monster. Let's. About to eat Morty, just as he's aiming a gun at his face. Hold on. Oh, it comes in, in uh, several uh, separate parts. Hmm. Okay. So, really careful not to drop anything. So, that's the base. Got a very terrified looking Morty over here and you have this sort of interdimensional uh, portal monster thing what? hold on this is really not safe, I guess you just have to pull these apart A fresh smell of plastic. 
Wow, man, this thing looks awesome. It looks amazing. It looks exactly like the visual style of the show. But... I mean, you, you really have to see this thing up close and personal to truly admire it. It looks amazing, really. And, hold on, let me just put the scared little Morty thing. There we go. So it's Morty! Firing a weapon at some interdimensional portal monster thing that I guess is from the show that I never bothered to watch because I watched a few episodes with some friends and I didn't really think it was worth my time. But maybe I will watch it eventually one day, so who knows. Right, so, moving on. There's a Justice League something here. Oh, look! That's a Superman something. Hold on. Uh, pop sockets. Phone grip and... Then, uh, hold on. Eh. Huh. Hold on, let me just uh, figure this thing out. I guess you, um. I wonder if this thing has any use. Eh, never mind. So, um. I guess, uh, yeah. You glue this area to the back of your uh, smartphone and uh, use it to just uh, uh, use it as a stand for stuff. Uh, it says here you can use it to take selfies with it. Uh, hold on. Oh, well, I get it. Um, so, uh, it comes flat, you can pop it twice, and, uh, aim it so you can, uh, you choose an angle so the phone itself can stand on its own. Uh, you can use it to, use self, to make selfies or to just, uh, watch a movie on your smartphone. Uh, very handy uh, for someone who has a smartphone, which I am not. Of course, if I had a, a, um... Uh, a smartphone, I would have been able to show this thing to you in action, but I don't. So, uh, just have to contend with that. So, let's check out this Harley Quinn thing. Uh, this looks interesting. Oh, it's a journal! Hold on, let me just open this. Where did I put the, uh, the knife? Hang on. Aha! Uh -huh. Trying to hide from me, I see. Now, that's gotta be... Be careful not to damage the actual thing. Ow! Or myself, for that matter. So, it's a journal with a little picture of Harley Quinn and this little uh, Harley Quinn logo at the back. If you open it, there's some more uh, fun Harley Quinn uh, pictures inside and it's filled with some blank pages that uh, supposedly you can use uh, as a journal, as a personal diary, even as a, a drawing book, uh, whatever you want to use it for. I, I doubt I have any uses for something like this, but I'll keep it around. Maybe I'll find something uh, useful for it eventually. Moving on, let's see what the pin is. Oh, 
Damn it! Oh! Wow! I love this thing! Wow! It's Courage! The Cowardly Dog! Wow! Oh! Wow! This is my favorite one! This is my... This has gotta be my favorite pin, uh... That I ever gotten from Luke. Look, it's Courage! It's Courage the Cowardly Dog! Stupid dog! Booga booga booga! Ah! Wow! Wow! It looks so good! They, they really just... They captured every single detail from the hole in his tooth to uh, to the whiskers, the eyes, the ears, the little paws, uh, the, the, the screen, everything! It's courage in pen form! Wow! I'm definitely keeping this one. I love this thing. Wow! This is so amazing. It's so cool. It's courage. I think it was my favorite uh, Cartoon Network show uh, back when Cartoon Network was Cartoon Network. Anyway, wow! Damn it! I absolutely love this thing. Let's see what the uh, the theme is. The theme was mayhem. All right, let's read it. Life gets messy sometimes. Especially if you're making a mess. Some of our favorite characters and iconic moments have, have, have something in common. Total mayhem! Wreak havoc, responsibly, with this collection of exclusive gear. Exclusive Total Mayhem Morty figure. Exclusive Office Space t-shirt. Exclusive Harley Quinn notebook. Justice League Pop Sockets, what does that have to do with Mayhem? And exclusive Kurt the Cowardly Dog pin. Okay, so on the other side, uh, apparently uh, this month in Mega Crate is a bunch of uh, Nerf guns. Whatever. And a little note from the uh, Loot Crate uh, people that says we love you. And so, uh, unfortunately, the... Uh, almost feels like there's uh, another thing hidden in here, but unfortunately the um, box itself isn't really that uh, complex as for um, last month, and given that, I'm going to just casually put it together, because whenever Wood Crate decides to put less effort into their crates um, I can literally just finish building it in seconds which is exactly what I'm going to do which is exactly why I haven't stopped the recording and I'm come on I'm still doing this while I'm speaking to you. That's just how... First of all, just how simple these crates are to make. And... On a, on a separate note, just how common we, they have, uh, they've done this. That I can just casually put it together without with barely any uh, effort spent now unfortunately well fortunately uh, what this uh, box uh, lacks in uh, complexity if that's even a word it makes up for with the visual design because the visual design for this thing is amazing they, they use this uh, sort of a uh, you know, the, this sort of art style that kind of tricks your brain. It's insanely trippy if you look at it for too long. Uh, there's definitely two distinct, uh, oops, two distinct uh, patterns here. Uh, the same pattern for uh, the two uh, wider uh, areas of the box. And another pattern for uh, all 
four of these signs. Uh, this thing is really gonna warp your brain and I'm going to hypnotize you guys right now. You are getting sleepy! You want to subscribe to this channel! You want to tell everybody you know about me and you make me uh, the most popular YouTuber in the galaxy! Ooh! Ooh! Okay, that's enough. So, there you have it, guys. Uh, this month in Loot Crate business. Uh, you guys should feel uh, very uh, fortunate because you've got to, you got to witness not one, but two different uh, Loot Crates in the same month, which is kind of kind of a compensation for not being able to see any uh, loot crate last month but I mean those were matters that were beyond my control so thank you very much for watching and uh, remember guys you want to subscribe to the channel you want to share this video you want to let everybody in the world know I exist I am important now. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hello again, everybody. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel where I do all kinds of weird stuff like showcase all these things, you know, trailer reactions, movie reviews, all kinds of fun stuff. So, until next time, I'll see you guys next time.